This is Sophie from Native Instruments. In this video, I'm going to explain how to use Razer as a vocoder in Ableton Live 9. With this feature, you can synthesize a live or recorded voice input by playing MIDI notes rooted to Razer's vocoder presets. To begin, create new MIDI and audio tracks in your project. Rename the audio track to Vocals. Then load Reactor 5 Effects as a VST effect plugin on the track. In Reactor, click the Player tab and browse to the Razor folder. Drag and drop or double click the RPKLR file inside the folder to load Razor. Next, load one of the vocoder presets from Razer's preset drop down menu. Here we're choosing a preset called Calcify. Close Reactor. Make sure you have enabled in out in the track view settings so that you can see the track signal routing. In the MIDI Tracks MIDI 2 drop down menu, select Vocals. Record enable the MIDI track. If you're using microphone, make sure that you've selected the correct input channel for your microphone in the audio channel under Audio From. Also make sure the monitor is set to in. Now you should be able to hear the vocoded effect when speaking into the microphone while pressing keys on your MIDI keyboard. Test one. Test two. Note that if the vocal track doesn't receive any MIDI notes, you'll not hear a sound. To hear an audio output, you need to input MIDI notes either by playing them live on a keyboard or by programming them in the MIDI note editor. When you're ready to record your performance, record enable both the MIDI and vocals audio track. To do this on a Mac, hold down the Apple command button to select multiple tracks and record enable both the MIDI and the audio track. On a Windows computer, hold down the control button while record enabling multiple tracks. Now you're ready to record. In Ableton Live, click the session record button to record both your vocal performance as well as incoming MIDI notes from your keyboard. To play back what you just recorded, switch the vocal tracks monitor back to auto and press play. Instead of recording both the audio and the MIDI notes at the same time, you can also use an existing audio file and play the MIDI notes separately. Here we're using an acapella as our sound source. Make sure the vocals tracks monitor is set to auto. Launch the clip and play some notes on your MIDI keyboard. You can always go back to Reactor and change Razer's vocoder preset or modify existing ones. When you found the right sound and rehearsed how you'd like to play the notes, record enable the MIDI track and record your MIDI notes. <laughs> 